Hi, my name is Katana and I've been at Bishop McKenzie for 13 years now and um, I've always taken art as a way to express myself because I'm not really the most um, open person. Um, I find that art has helped me express myself so that people can interpret the way I feel, um, especially with this piece behind me. It was, um, the theme was about letting go and in life I know that that's one of the very hard things that we have to do. Um, I did it on acrylic paint on canvas and I did hands because um, I felt that hands show a certain type of movement whether it's holding someone or greeting someone or like trying to hold on to something. So basically um, it was a challenge for me as well because I really hate painting hands like I hate it, I'll try and cover it any way possible and I just felt that why not take on this challenge, it's my last year, might as well do it. Um, like, you know, when people say art is easy, it's really not easy. And it takes a lot of time. And I, it shows in this art piece because it took me three months. Um, people think it's just um, like a painting on paper, but it's not. It had an emotional connection. Some days I didn't feel like painting it. Some days I had to throw it away. But then I kept going. And I think, yeah, art just has really allowed me to express myself. Hi, my name is Lerotu. And this is my exhibition. So basically, um, Bishop McKenzie has developed my, me a lot as an artist. When I first came to when I first came to Bishop McKenzie, all I, I, although I loved art, all I would do was draw with pencil, pastels, coloured pencils, the usual thing a primary student does. But then my teachers taught me how to step out of my boundaries. They taught me to try new materials to to express myself and not just draw what I see. So I've definitely learned that through art you can express yourself personally. You can, um, you can express what you think about major topics such as the Boko Haram thing I did. And um, you can, it's basically just some form of personal expression. So when my teacher first came, all we had was pastel drawings and colored pencil drawings and pencil drawings but then she definitely taught me how to step out of my boundaries and it was my first time actually using paint for, an, um, for a piece and so I ended up doing so much more work than I've ever done before and um, I used a lot of acrylic paint, oil paint she just taught me how to use unconventional materials. She even got me to use floppy disks as a medium, so that was quite interesting too. And I've definitely learned a lot. This is my first time making sculpture too, so I've learned a lot from this experience. Hi, I'm Rachel. I came to Bishop McKenzie in year seven, so I've been here for quite a long time. Um, it has definitely been an eye-opening challenge. Um, I have seen exhibitions at the school from students that were older than me and I always enjoyed them but I had no idea how much work went behind them. It's, right now I feel really happy and because it's very rewarding once you see it all come together. All the work that we've been doing for the past two years I never imagined it could turn out this well. I tried recreating the piece I exhibited uh, in a more unrealistic way. This time I managed to recreate this um, palette stroke technique as well as the skin and the hair uh, showing both the light and dark textures. And then I recreated it again in the pink using the same technique. I created them um, by creating a mold out of chicken wire and then I folded it around and I passed it past the inside and the outside. I also, um, in order to create a smoothness, I filled it with cotton wool and pastel pressed it over and then I painted it pink and I added real ribbon and wire to create the ribbon set type. Um, the ballerina's shoes are in this position because this is the first position in ballet as well as in Scottish dance. This is how every dance starts. Um, I know this uh, from personal experience of being both used to being both a ballerina and a Scottish dancer. So this is how I've managed to um, create a personal bond with each of my pieces as I used to be able to do all these. Um, IB is really hard. It is really hard and I think um, when you're done with IGCSEs, which is um, 
before doing IB, you think that's as hard as it gets, but it's really not. But in IB, I've learned, especially in TOK, how to answer questions um, in terms of like being open-minded. IB has taught me to maintain a certain level and like to um, push myself further. I know, I, I think everyone underestimates themselves, but when I had a go at it, I found out that I can actually do it. Like if, pe if it's been done, then I don't see how it was impossible. So I did it and like I feel really proud of myself because I see when I'm applying to universities that they do recognize the IB program and the rigor of the course and like how you have to maintain your time, especially with art involved.